Without any foreign spectators at this year's Olympics, Japan is shining on the world stage in other ways. One photographer is using his skills to help show off the country as well as its culture and the summer games. Melissa Marino is in Tokyo. In a year unlike any other, most are only experiencing the game through TV, online, and pictures. His photos have been published in hundreds of articles, from Vanity Fair to Newsweek. Mark Edward Harris has also done books on Japanese culture. This is uh, Tagadagawa, which is one of my favorite. Including hot this one, focusing on the ancient tradition of bathing in Japan's natural hot springs. Uh, what is it about the, the Japanese tradition that you love so much? I think discipline and respect are the two biggest things. He's documented tragedies like the tsunami that hit 10 years ago and now something he considers a turning point for the country, the Olympic Games. Until uh, the opening ceremony, I wasn't really sure if it was going to happen 100%. I think people are going to feel, I'm um, glad we, we did this and the world's better for it. He visited the Olympic Stadium days in advance to make sure to get the perfect shot. Since then, he's photographed a variety of the athletic competitions. When you're shooting something, when you're covering something like this, there's so much to think about. First of all, you know, how fast are the athletes going? It's not like, okay, I have to shoot it 2 50th of a second, so I don't move. You know, some of these sports, they're moving so incredibly fast. I'm shooting at, you know, 2,500th of a second. He hopes his photography will show the world coming together at a time we couldn't actually be together and to inspire others to visit the country he loves. The real payoff will be in years to come. In Tokyo, I'm Melissa Marino.